Welcome to Top 10 USA, home of the Rocket Platform. Please follow our replacement procedures and be sure to use appropriate ESD standards and techniques throughout the replacement process. If these procedures are not followed appropriately, damage to your SAN as well as data loss may occur. If your machine is covered under the Rocket Plus subscription and you have any questions or concerns, please open a ticket through the Rocket Platform customer portal. Your first step is to access the group manager of your Dell Equalogical Array. There are two methods to accessing your array. If you already know how to access the Dell Equalogic Group Manager, please skip to 1 minute and 9 seconds. If you are utilizing SAN Headquarters, you will want to launch the SAN Headquarters client. Once SAN Headquarters is loaded, on the left hand side of the page you will see a list of current groups managed by SAN Headquarters. From here you will need to select on the particular group with the current issue. You will right click on the group name and select Launch Group Manager and log in using your login credentials. If you are accessing your Dell Equalogic via a web browser, you will open up your preferred browser and in the address bar either enter the host name or the management IP address. Once you see a login prompt, please enter your login credentials. Now that you are logged into the group manager, you are going to need to identify the Equalogic array with the issue. On the left hand side of the page, you are going to select on the particular array that currently has an indicator marking. In the center of the screen, you will see a row of tabs across the top of the page. You'll need to go to the Maintenance tab of the Dell Equalogic Array. Toward the right-hand side of the page, you're going to see a section with identification information of this array. Be sure to click Start LEDs Flashing, and then make note of the service tag of your Dell Equalogic Array. You will need the service tag and any LED indication turned on for any service procedure in order to identify the faulty SAN with ease. If either of these methods do not work, or the machine is inaccessible, contact us directly. When replacing the channel control cards in a Dell Equalogic Array, the process will take the array offline for approximately 30 minutes. Schedule a work window to replace the channel control cards. Once your work window begins, you will want to identify the physical array you will be working on. Using the LED indications you had turned on previously, locate the array. The array will have all of its indication lights flashing. Verify that it is the correct array using the service tag from the group manager. The service tag of the array should be located on a sticker in the rear of the machine by the controller slots. Once the array has been identified, you will need to turn off the indicator lights. Enter into the group manager and select the member with the failed channel control cards. Open up the maintenance tab and on the right hand side select the option stop LEDs flashing. Now select the option shut down. You will be prompted to enter your management password before proceeding. After inputting the management password, the array will begin the shutdown process. Head to the front of the array. Depending on personal preference, you may have left the faceplate attached to cover your array. If the faceplate is attached, take your Dell issued key and turn the lock in a clockwise direction. Next to the lock will be a little black tab. Left up on the black tab and the faceplate locking mechanism will release, allowing you to remove the faceplate. Now from the front of the array, you will see an LCD screen. When the array has completed its shutdown process, you will see a comms fault indication flash upon the LCD screen. Once you've seen the comms fault indication, turn off the array by lifting up on the plastic cover to the button and depressing on the button. On each side of the front, you will see flathead screws. Take a flathead screwdriver and turn these screws in a counterclockwise direction. Now slide the array forward until you can easily access the channel control cards. Once the channel control cards become easily accessible, you will see black levers on each side of the control cards. Lift up on the levers to release them from their slots. Once the levers have been released from their slots, you should be free to pull the control card straight up out of the slot. Repeat this process on the alternate control card. Grab the replacement channel control cards by the black levers on the sides and ensure that they are perpendicular to the ground. Insert the channel control card into the slot, making sure it is oriented in the direction of the faulty channel control cards. When inserted around 90% of the way, the levers on the control cards will begin to catch in their slot. Once the levers catch in their slot, depress on the levers to seat the control card the rest of the way. Repeat this process on the alternate control card. Now that the channel control cards have been replaced, slide the array back into its original position. 
Once the array is in its or original position, lift up on the plastic cover to the power button and depress on the button. The array will take around 10 to 15 minutes to come back online in the group manager. Enter back into the group manager and check on the status of the channel control cards. If the array is back to a healthy status, it is safe to close this call out. If the channel control cards fail or other issues arise, please contact us directly. Thank you for choosing the Rocket Platform, the evolution of hardware maintenance. Thanks for watching. This has been another video by the Top 10 USA video production team. We look forward to sharing more content with you going forward, so please check out our YouTube channel and please subscribe so that you get notified whenever we release a new piece of content.